Hi and welcome to True's Owner Maintenance video series. Now that you've received your True Cooler, please take time to review the instruction pack that's included in each unit. After reviewing that instruction manual, please take care to properly discard all of the packing material. Hi, now that we have the packing material removed from the cooler, we're going to install the casters on this unit here. A good hint is to take the piece of packing material that came with it, this heavy duty 4 inch 4 ply cardboard, and lay it down on the back side of it. This way, you'll protect the unit and the floor. Right now though, let's show you how to take the unit off the skid. First thing you're going to need is a Phillips screwdriver to remove the four Phillips screws that hold the grill plate on the front. So let's do that now. Now that we have the screws removed from the grill cover, let's remove the grill cover itself. On this unit, there are four bolts in each corner that you'll need to remove from the wooden skid. There are 916, so you can use an open end wrench or a ratchet. Now that we have the bolts removed from the frame rail, what we're gonna do is go ahead and take that packing material Put it behind there and go ahead and put the casters on. Bill, will you give me that piece of the cardboard? Now we're going to go ahead and lay the cabinet on its back. Now the casters are in a box that's inside the unit taped to the racks. Casters are inserted in these bolt holes here. These are called rib nuts. There's two types of casters, your standard casters and casters with a locking brake. You want to make sure to put the locking brake casters in the front of the unit. Also inside the caster box is a wrench to install the casters. This wrench fits up in here in this bolt to tighten it up. Take your caster, insert it into the rib nut, and go ahead and tighten it up. Now that we have the casters installed on the unit, we're going to remove the shipping skid. We're getting ready to pick this up. One of the things you want to do though is you want to chalk the rear wheels with a piece of wood or something because due to the physical size and weight of the unit, you may need uh, an extra hand to help you out. So Bill and I are going to chalk these wheels, and that's to prevent the unit from moving it around. We're going to go ahead and pick this up now. Now that you have that up, remove the chalk from the wheels, and you're ready to place your unit in the location. Now that we've got our casters on the unit, we have to put that grill back on. Remember, there's four Phillips screws, two on each side. And now you're ready to put the cabinet into place. 